The Lord is my light. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. I wonder, Francis, how much of your work is related to our Lord? All of it. But Earl Robert is not a pious man. I try to guide him as best I can, but I cannot change what he has me writing or reading. Francis, you look troubled. You could always read me. Like a book, little brother. It's good to see you, Philip. King Henry is dead. I know. Word reached St. John shortly before I left. First the King, and now Prior James. The devil has come to Kingsbridge. What? Just something I heard, something foolish. And yet, these are dark times indeed. King Henry's death caused quite a commotion in the world of politics. There will be war. Stop the suffering. Maybe we can. I came not just to meet you. I was sent to look for a messenger of my lord, Earl Robert. Here? In Kingsbridge? Farmers said the messenger was heading for Kingsbridge two weeks ago. The knight was carrying a confidential document that might change the course of the conflict. People here trust you. Maybe the monks here know something? We will find him. One more thing. No one can know why we're looking for the knight. So, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. The Son of God died on a wooden cross. The martyrs were burned on wood. Even something as innocent as a tree becomes a weapon in the hands of man. That is very true, Philip. Very true. 
But my ladles are also made of wood. <laughs> Not all hope is lost, then. You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius. It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Praise the Lord. Ah, wonderful. I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, and you'll keep warm. Who? Oh? Ouch! Careful, they're hot. If there's one man I don't need to preach to, it's Milius. What was that? Nothing. It's just... I thought I'd love for you to have more of a say around here. I'm just the Kitchener. And a friend. If you think I underestimate myself, then you do, too. Maybe that's why we get along so well. Hard at work, as usual, Milius. I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Vote for Remigius. He would be no better than Prior James. He is the sub-prior, and he made promises to some of the brothers, like the sacrist. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room, including the priory's ledgers. Remigius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death, except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the Priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refused. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? One day, he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. He was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins? Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean, aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. We'll talk more later. The glory of young men is their strength. 
But the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Matthew? Proverbs. I'm afraid I won't have much chance to improve my reading at my age. But I'll take your word for it. Proverbs it is. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. Of course I did. Splendid. Thank you. I will prepare it for our brothers on Sunday. I'm sorry for how I talked to you about the Priory earlier. It's just that at St. John's we worked hard to become self-sufficient. We have given so much to Kingsbridge, our mother house. And the Priory here is in a horrible state. Don't you think I know that? Ah. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. The novices are stealing? Yes. Someone took my keys. Remigius blames me for losing them. But someone used them to steal food from the cellar more than once. Today, I found something missing again. Has there been a night to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. Now, I'm sure the Lord will forgive you for being attached to such a beautiful little part. I hope he will. Milliers, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Why cathedrals? Why do we create temples if we are the temple? Isn't it almost arrogant to try and build a greater temple? Don't say that. Why not? We wouldn't be here if it weren't for the cathedral. Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him, as you would a father. What was that? 
Scripture, Brother Rinaldus. What? All is well. Do not mind me. Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves. Rotten edges. We used to eat them. Now, they're eating us. The cloth is useless, at least right now. Say, has there been a knight to Kingsbridge? A knight? A knight? Yes. He's here. Right here. Uh, do you know who he was? How did he die? Brother Paul found him. Where is Paul? Down at the bridge. Freezing his walnuts off, I reckon. He talked to him. I only put him in the ground. That's all I ever do. Do you have any idea what the knight was doing here? Probably tried to jump off the end of the world. W what do you mean? There is nothing here. Kingsbridge lies at the end of the road. Nobody comes here. No, no sign of the messenger. My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. No, no sign of the messenger. It feeds us. We are people of God. Cathedra, it is not for me to take that seat. No, they said they hid the key in some crack in the church. The novice said he hid the keys in here. They're here. I have them. This brother Marcus really did steal Cuthbert's keys.
locked. Let's see what we can find. No reason to be afraid. Nothing here. The saint rests in peace. God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. These old cathedrals are bound to make strange sounds. Nothing. Thought so. Nothing here. Hello? No. No one. Not a thing. Hello? is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? What is that? What is that? It's the size of a child. Hello? Oh! oh. An owl, just an owl. The saint rests in peace. About that night, he was carrying an important document for my master. You have to find it. No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. Hello? Hmm. I'm sure there was someone moving behind a window. But most houses are empty.
the knight doesn't seem to be around here. James, I pray for you that when you stand before God, he will look upon you with mercy. No, no sign of the messenger. Brother Paul? Philip. What's wrong with your foot, Brother Paul? Oh, just a chilblain. It will ease when the spring comes. You should have a fire. It's all right. It's not that cold. Don't take it lightly. Many will die this winter for lack of food or shelter. Remigius thinks the Lord is testing us. Only the sinners perish. No, the poor perish and those that he has freezing out here. Don't say anything to Remedius, will you? If he thinks I've been complaining, he'll be displeased. Have you heard about a knight in Kingsbridge? A knight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. He was just lying by the road, just a mile away from the Priory. He must have fallen from his horse. Where is he now? <sighs> he died. We buried him in the cemetery. Did he have a name? Did he say anything? Oh, he could not speak. But the look in his eyes told me he was afraid. I held his hand and prayed with him while he died. Did the knight have anything with him? Uh, there was a letter. I gave it to Prior James. Remedius will probably burn it with the rest of James's papers. James insisted that all his books and documents shall be burnt after his death. Except for his Bible. I heard about this. I think that would be unwise. Sometimes I wonder if it was because of that letter. A few days later, Prior James fell through the ice. Right here. Philip. Maybe I brought a curse on Kingsbridge. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Have faith in the Lord, Brother Paul. You did well. Thank you, Philip. This will not help to get hold of the letter. I asked not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. 
You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. I would like to take a look at Prior James's documents. And why is that, Brother Philip? Well, our little cell has given much to the Mother House. I would like to ensure that all is accounted for. So you do not trust us, Philip, is that it? The state of this Priory... The state of this Priory is the concern of the Prior of Kingsbridge. I still would like to see the Prior's documents. They will be burned. Tonight. I heard about that. It was Prior James's last wish. I'm following his request. But the new Prior will be lost without the ledgers and contracts. After the election, I'll be the new Prior. For now, you are not. Only the chapter meeting can decide on these matters. L of course. Brother Andrew will surely understand why you would go against James's last request. <laughs> if you really want to be of help, look for Brother Cuthbert's keys. He's getting old, misplacing them all the time. <sighs> Yet, we need to eat too. We come together here. The pilgrims donate. So do the nobles. I see. A temple to feed the temple. Yes. We must. Getting cold. When will these novices learn to close the door? Cuthbert, I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? Whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him, it is sin.
We must. What we have to ask ourselves is, can our Saint Adolphus still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. The new prior and I will support you in this. All Kingsbridge needs is faith and hard work. Philip of Gwyneth. I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm... I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. I was shocked by the prior's death. We all were. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good prior, but here we adhere to the rules. We can't allow prior James's books to be burned. That, Philip, was Prior James's wish. This priory is in debt. And without the ledgers and documents, that will never change. Besides, the wisdom in his books is priceless. It is not up to you to make decisions in this priory, Brother Philip. Do not domineer over those in your charge, but be an example to the flock. 1 Peter, Chapter 5 You are right. You shall argue your case in front of the brothers in a chapter meeting today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. When I'm done here, I will tell all the monks to come to the chapter house. Would it help if I went and told some of them? I feel free to do that. But I insist that the choir finishes practicing before we start. They're already behind schedule. I believe they have enough to discuss. <laughs> 